In this video, I want to talk about a film's opening shot. Now, the opening shot is incredibly important, especially in a short when running time is critical. The opening shot provides you, the filmmaker, with a great opportunity to establish mood, tone, and character. And for a short film, that opportunity shouldn't be squandered on superfluous imagery. So when it comes time to film your next short project, take the time to think through that opening shot and really plan it. How can you hook the audience, establish the world, convey the tone of your film, and tell us something about the characters? Number one, hook the audience. Whether directing a short or a feature, you want to engage the viewer right from the start. Now, if you're directing a multi-million dollar franchise with big name actors, you have a little bit more runway. Audiences are going to be more patient with you as you get the story started. However, if you're directing a low budget short with, with actors no one has ever heard of, you're going to need to capture the audience's attention quickly. This is especially true if you plan on submitting your film to festivals. That's because screeners have to sort through hundreds of entries every single year, and you really want your film to stand out. Second, you want to establish the world. When you're a director like Christopher Nolan and you're creating complex stories, think Inception, you need the extra screen time to clue the audience in on what the rules are for your world. You need some extra time for exposition. But short films don't have that luxury, but you can do yourself a big favor by using that opening shot to quickly orient the audience. And remember, the shot doesn't need to be complex, and you don't have to rely solely on the visuals. Think how you can use sound design along with your visuals in that opening shot to help establish the world. Okay, for example, here's the opening shot from my short film, Hangry. The first thing the audience sees is the nursing home dining room in a medium wide shot. We have residents crossing in and out of frame in the background, along with staff members in scrubs. Now that helps to convey to the audience exactly where we are. But I didn't just use visual clues. In the opening few seconds, we can hear an announcer come over the PA system and read off a list of afternoon activities that the residents can participate in. So I'm using both visuals and the sound design to really establish the world. Third, tell us something about your characters. How can you use the opening shot of your film to tell us a little bit about who the characters are? Here are a few of the opening shots of my short film, Big and Tall. Look at this shot. The bulletin board tells the audience that the main character is really into Bigfoot lore. She's done her research, she's meticulous, and she has a strong attention to detail. Now look at this second shot when we see her face for the first time. The clothing lets the audience know that she's not a typical girly girl. She's a little more rugged and outdoorsy. The coffee cup in her hand suggests maturity beyond her years. And the third shot, looking top down at all of her supplies, tells us that she's highly organized, maybe with slight obsessive compulsive tendencies. So within the first few shots, you can glean a lot of information about the character, the world, the mood, and the tone for this film. And here's a quick peek at the opening shot for my upcoming short, Miss Responsibility. So what can you tell about the character from this shot? For every short film I direct, I really want to introduce the audiences to my main character and to the world as quickly as possible. So what other methods have worked for you? What other advice do you have for the filmmakers out there? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your thoughts, your advice in the comments section below. As always, click subscribe so you know when new videos are posted. You can connect with me on my website at clinttill.net. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.